Once I make the decision to try to save and relocate a beehive, I call Randy over at Bee Bumblers. He takes it from there and starts a whole nother process. Watch this clip and learn. Hello, my name is Randy Fair. I'm the owner of Clear Lake Apiary. Uh, my kids call me the Bee Bumbler, and I'm going to show you how we process honey here at my little operation. This machine has heated serrated blades that will uncap the, the frames of honey, and it'll do about nine frames a minute, slice the cappings off both sides. As they come out the other side, they'll be ready to go into the extractor. Now, after the frames are uncapped, uh, I'm going to clean the top and bottom of each frame. Again, I don't waste anything. I want to save all the wax that I can. Once I get the tops and bottoms clean, then I'll load them in the extractor to get the honey out. This particular extractor will hold 20 frames, so I can spin out 20 frames at one time, and I have two extractors, so in the process, I do 40 frames at a time. It'll run about 20 minutes, and it will spin the honey out using centrifugal force. If it's been spinning about 20 minutes, so most of the honey should be out of the frames. Uh, I don't worry about getting every drop. I'm gonna put these boxes back on the beehives and the bees will go through and clean up all the little bit of honey that's on these frames and put it back in the cells. I don't like to waste anything and the bees don't either. The honey from the uncapping tank will drain out the bottom and flow through those pipes to that T. Then both extractors will also be running and as they run, the honey is also draining out of them into the same header. From there, the honey then flows through this clear tubing to a separator or sump. This is a three chamber water jacketed sump. It heats the honey to, so that it'll flow better, but it also heats it so that the wax will flow up to the top. As this third chamber gets full, it'll push the float up and as, it, as the float comes up, that will turn the pump on and the honey will flow through a honey pump. This piece of screen will catch any other loose floating waxes floating in there that's in the, in the honey, and it'll go into the drum. When the drum gets full, I'll put a lid on it, and it'll stay in these barrels for at least two weeks, and then I will uh, take the honey out of those barrels and put them in a bottling tank for processing and bottling. Fresh drawn jar of honey ready for sale, and that's our end product.